Fellows, welcome back to Wiseman Company. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ravivon GL4 laser unit. And these are relatively new to the scene. You'll see these floating around. They're very small, compact. They make Ravivon makes a bunch of different models of, of this type of laser. And this is just kind of an initial review, a quick look at it. I've got to use it a little bit. And so far, so good. You can get it in black. This one's in FDE, as you see here. You can find these for sale at Defense Distributors if you're interested. Price point is usually, I think, anywhere from between three and $500, again, depending on the model you get. So it's not a very expensive laser, low cost. Here's an X300 just for a size comparison. Yes, this one is broken, uh, but you get the idea, size comparison. X300. So what can this laser do? Well, this particular model has four settings. So you can do IR light, IR laser, green laser, or both IR light and laser. Okay, so four different settings. The green visible laser is slave to the IR laser. So you can zero this in the daylight, which I've done before. Switches on the back are very similar to a pistol light. You see these toggles right here. You can get a back end that will support a switch, I believe, but I opted for the toggles here. They're very tactile. They're easy to use. This is kind of based off a pistol light platform, uh, for lack of a better term, but uh, you can see there, very robust mounting solution. This is all aluminum, and it's going to mount into that Picatinny section just fine. Using it thus far, the IR light is around 300 lumens and it is just a big flood. Uh, I didn't use that much, but to be honest with you, I don't typically use IR light that much in support of shooting under nods. I like to shoot a lot of passive stuff. It's easy to do. Uh, the IR flood isn't always necessary. The IR laser isn't always necessary to be honest with you. So I don't use that a ton. That's not a big selling factor for me to have an IR flood on a laser, but it's on there anyway. Visible laser, like I said, is green. IR laser is great. I mean, this thing is pretty darn bright, as you can see in the video here. Uh, this little unit would have no problem being uh, used in close quarters, pistol work, subgun work. I've run it on a subgun for the majority of its life. It now sits on a 300 blackout. Um, in that 100 yard range, this little unit does just fine. It is plenty bright, plenty usable. To switch between settings, there is going to be a little dial here, and you can see they're numbered. You can switch to all the settings you need, and the settings are labeled on the side of the unit. You have your elevation and windage here on the side and it is going to use one CR123 battery. So pretty common battery, unscrew the light uh, head and you can slip that battery right in there. You see the little locking uh, emblem right there. But uh, so far so good with this little guy. Very small form factor and that's what I wanted. Um, there's a bunch of other units like this out there such as like the Surefire. Uh, I think Streamlight makes something like that. They're, they're more expensive, like certainly the Surefire is definitely more expensive uh, than the Ravivon. Uh, and I think this is a little bit more usable than the Surefire. I like the toggles. I like the ease of switching modes here on the side. It's nice. It's a nice little unit for the money. Again, they have a bunch of different versions of this. You'll have to go check it out and see what works best for you. If you wanted a white light in conjunction on a unit like this, they sell that. If you didn't need an IR light, you can get it without it. They have a bunch of different versions. So um, go check them out. If you want other videos on this unit besides mine, go check out 4MR Ranch. Go check out Zenith Firearms. I think Brass Facts has one and Bloom Gene Operator. Those are all great channels and they have some videos on this unit. Again, just a quick look. Let me know what you guys think. I like that uh, lasers are getting cheaper, more available, and uh, hope to see them on a lot more guns here in the United States soon. If you have any questions, 
leave them down below in the comments. I'd be happy to answer. If you want to support us, go to wisemancompany.com. That is the best way to support us. A lot of great gear over there. Fast shipping, high quality goods. We appreciate all that support. We'll see you on the next video. <laughs> the one leg. <laughs>